shock. So we will discuss the definition, causes, effects, assessment, and clinical approach of shock. So shock is a state of inadequate uh, tissue perfusion. It could be post cardiac surgery shock. Uh, and be a victim, young male with Crohn's disease found febrile in shock, drug addict, hospital worker. So shock is a state of inadequate tissue perfusion. It can also be defined as a profound disturbance of the circulation metabolism leading to inadequate perfusion of vital organs necessary to maintain homeostasis. So there are hypoperfused state. There is uh, arterial resistance between uh, LV and the body. And there is a venous capacitance between the blood vessels of the body and RV. So the venous capacitance leads to end diastolic volume. And there is systemic uh, vascular resistance and there is pulmonary vascular resistance that determine the So if the patient has hypovolemic shock, there would be low blood pressure, heart rate would be increased, CVP would be low, and lactate will be high. In the cardiogenic shock, blood pressure would be low, heart rate would be high, CVP would be high as the heart is not pumping and the blood is pooling into the venous capacitance section and lactate would be raised. In the obstructive shock, or if there is a vasoconstriction, then blood pressure will be low, heart rate would be high, CVP high, and lactate high. Distributive shock, there is more pooling in the venous uh, blood, heart rate uh, is high, blood pressure is low, CVP is between 5 and 6, lactate around 12. So one has to assess uh, the shock and assess the effects on the infective treatment. So if there's infection and morts, one has to see where exactly the patient is. Look for PO2, FiO2, serum creatinine, platelet count, GCS, serum bilirubin, and pressure adjusted heart rate. So one has to assess the shock. It could be class one, two, versus three or four needs blood or crystalloid for the management. So the clinical approach, uh, the goals are rapidly restore the tissue perfusion, recognize it, immediate stabilization, ABC, ICU and surgical consultation, and treat the cause. So priority number one is to improve the volume, intervene with fluid, and parameter target is CVP and um, oxygen, uh, low O2, do a chest X-ray. And uh, if you want to improve the pressure, then give the vasopressors, SBP around 100 or within 20, 25 torr, MBP of more than 80. So avoid low stroke volume, high heart rate, and resistance. And then is the flow. To alter the flow, give inotropes, look at the signs of perfusion, and uh, DO2, and one should avoid low blood pressure. So the BP potency, the dopamine, the norepinephrine, vasopressors, and phenylephrine. So, the important message is one has to take three targets, volume, pressure, and flow. Uh, 